The Senate voting to move forward on the GOP health care bill debate as Senator John McCain returns to the floor, urging bipartisanship to solve the American health care issue. Joining me right now with his thoughts on where this health care thing is heading, we have Congressman and member of the Freedom Caucus and Judiciary Committee member Andy Biggs. Congressman, good to have you here tonight. Hi, Trish. Good to see you. I, I've made this point earlier in the show. I find it disturbing that they couldn't get anything done without having to bring in John McCain, who obviously is dealing with his own personal issues right now. They couldn't get it done without having to bring in Vice President Pence. How dysfunctional does that tell you Washington and the Republican Party has become? I tell you, it drives me crazy as well. I mean, you're looking at 52 Republican senators and you can't get all 52 to vote on a motion to proceed to even discuss a bill and work through it. So it's, you know, it makes people scratch their head, that's for sure. I will, I will, on, a, on one note, I was glad to see Senator McCain, I thought, looked awfully well for his, his recent he travails, certainly you did. know. So. He certainly did. He, he, uh, he's a real trooper there, uh, clearly always has been, uh, a real yeah. patriot and someone who felt that his party needed him and he wanted to be there for his party in this country. Uh, unlike perhaps Senator Collins and Senator Murkowski, who didn't want to be there for their parties, what's your reaction to them not even being willing to engage in this debate? Well, that's that's part of what gets everybody around the country to pull their head out, hair, hair out if they're, you know, if they're Republicans or Independents or the people supporting President Trump and the health care repeal issue is is why can't you even discuss it? Let's, mm -hmm. let's at least discuss it and let's get that motion to proceed and, and go forward. And, mm -hmm. and just didn't make much sense to anybody uh, watching it. No, I, I, you know, and it probably didn't make much sense to the president. We are waiting on him. He's going to be speaking momentarily in Youngstown, yeah. Ohio, and one can anticipate he'll have some thoughts on all of that uh, in terms of the Senate today and their move to begin this debate. But let me ask you uh, about another big topic that's going on right now, and that's that the president's continuing to put this pressure on Attorney General Jeff Sessions. He called him beleaguered yesterday, and today he took it one step further, they're saying right there in the Rose Garden representative that he was disappointed in him and basically it wasn't threatening him as president, but it was threatening the office of the presidency that he recused himself from that investigation and overseeing it. And he said he really regretted hiring him. He wouldn't have done so had he known he was going to recuse himself. Do you think it is time for Jeff Sessions to step down. Well, I, I think what you're hearing is President Trump expressing the frustration um, all of us have that a, a couple things there. Number one, uh, by his recusal, um, the Russian uh, issue keeps rearing its head. The Democrats are just responding like Pavlovian uh, dogs. I mean, it's really a problem. And yet at the same time, uh, we haven't turned that back around and continued the investigations that started previously under so many, uh, where so many people in the Democrats, you know, Susan Rice and, uh, you know, uh, Loretta Lynch and others had do committed we need to? issues. Yeah, Would I think you we like do. To see? I mean, yeah. there, I think there was a sense yeah. out there at one point, Congressman, that we could move forward, that we could move beyond all that. That was the old administration, Hillary Clinton, who needs it? And yet the Democrats have latched onto this and the mainstream media have latched onto it in a way that makes it impossible seemingly right. for the country to move forward. Exactly. I mean, and, and so they, they, they keep surrounding this and I keep calling this a wet log that some people are trying to light on fire. And so you have all this horrible smoke. Well, you, in order for us to clear the smoke, we need to light a real fire and go back and investigate and get justice. I think American people want justice in these issues, and this is a time to do it. And if we do that, I think that we can even things out and we can maybe get back to a normal course. 